guys so look what I have in front of me I found fry dry here in Florida at food down so if you guys haven't had this in a long time you need to check food down to get this now they sell it with the head and without the head but I bought the ones with the head because I remember growing up that my mom used to make this with the head when you fry that and it gets really crispy you can eat it all the only thing you'll need to do is clean out the, t the belly or the tummy of the fish you'll need to cut the fish open and clean out the inside so once you prepare the fry dry properly by cleaning it and washing it in lime juice you're going to season this so to this I'm going to go in with some salt to taste black pepper some lemon pepper some smoked paprika a few dashes of bitters some green seasoning and some pimento pepper sauce or if you have lime pepper sauce you can use that now all you do is mix to combine now I'm just going to allow this to marinate for about five to ten minutes after which now to make the dry flour batter that's going to coat the fry dry now I prefer using a dry flour batter but if you wanted to make a wet batter by adding some either some club soda or some sparkling water to this you can so to the flour I'm going to go in with some black pepper some lemon pepper some smoked paprika and some turmeric powder mix to incorporate all of those ingredients so I have the oil heating up on medium heat and here I have my flour and here I have the fish now I'm gonna take half of the fish and throw it into my flour to coat next you're going to place the fish into a strainer and this is just my easy way of getting that excess flour out so it doesn't go into the oil and you're just gonna shake Now this is not going to take very long to fry, maybe about 2-3 to three minutes because it's a very tiny fish so it's going to fry pretty quickly. You want to make sure it has a nice crunchy crispy exterior and it must be golden brown. Okay so this first set is finished, you see that nice golden brown color it has, that's what you want. So I'm going to take these out and drain them. And I'm gonna continue frying the rest of fry dry. So you guys, here you have it, my recipe for fry dry. I don't know when was the last time you all had this. No, I wanted to tell you all that I left the head on the fry dry because that's a traditional way it's made. But if you don't want to leave the head, you can cut that out. So if you guys enjoyed today's recipe or I get, uh, I've given you memories of when you were smaller and your parents used to make this, leave them in your comments down below. I would love to hear what you all think. So thank you all so much for watching and I'm excited for you all to try this one. I'll see you guys in my next recipe. Bye!